And basically, this is money you can put right back into kingdom work. Uh, this is money. Uh, maybe uh, some churches have needed to do some repairs and they just hadn't had the money for it. That that could be the money that they've needed or a mission trip or something like, you know, something that I hadn't even mentioned, something that they could use. Well, I want you to tell us a little bit about your excitement when you discovered that you could get a payroll refund, basically a payroll credit through the ERTC program. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and what excited you about that. Well, the first, my first reaction was I thought it was too good to be true. And I thought there's, there's just no way that we're going to get money back because we had to cancel an event or because we receipts were down or payroll or whatever. And, uh, and so I, 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 uh, you know, listened a little more, read a little more, uh, watched some of the, the videos that you had uh, made available to us, uh, Bobby, through e ERC churches. And, uh, and I thought, you know, I think we could get, get some money back. And, and sure enough, we were able to. And that was, you know, several thousand dollars. So that was just a great blessing. So my, yeah, my first, my first reaction was I didn't, I didn't believe it. And then I didn't really understand it. And I, and I, you know, it made me feel a lot better about it when I understood that it was getting back money that we had already put in. It wasn't uh, a loan or, or anything like that. And it was, it was just based on uh, the, the changes that the COVID lockdown had, had done uh, for our small ministry here at Fairburn Baptist Association. Your organization received back how much money? Do you remember the amount? Uh, yeah, it's twenty. It's twenty one thousand dollars. Okay, and you have a large staff. No, no. For part of that, for part of that COVID time that we would uh, that would qualify for, there was only one staff person. It was a, a ministry assistant. The previous associational missionary had retired. And so for about six months, eight months, uh, there was there was only one staff person, and then I came on, and there was no programming going on either. So so if if we had still had two employees and still had some programming that we had to have suspended or canceled, uh, that would have we would have got back even more. The ERC program is is a payroll refund, a payroll credit uh, is how we refer to it a lot of times. Uh, and it's really for six quarters if you had any kind of impact at all from COVID uh, for the end of basically the last three quarters in 2020 and the first three quarters in 2021. So one of the things that most misunderstand is they think that this payroll credit is really only available to businesses. Uh, and it is a small business plan, but it really defines business in the sense of uh, any organization that is paying in into the payroll tax system, okay? And the legislation, when they set this up, they set it up to be a payroll refund, which is a process that's already in place. So basically, you submit your 941s every quarter, and you just submit an amended 941 showing the changes that had taken place, and thus it's processed and the refund uh, comes at that point. Uh, so churches, even though they didn't take the PPP loan, some think that you have to have taken PPP loan, but you don't. You just have to have been paying payroll uh, during these quarters, uh, and it opens up for you, you know, to be able to do it. What, what was the process? How, how difficult or simple was this for you? Well, for me personally, it was very easy. I passed it on to my administrative assistant and our treasurer. There you go. Yeah, but I in talking to them, uh, it it was it was not difficult at all. In fact, I think our whole process took about maybe four hours to do about, about a half a day's work to get it all done, and that was because uh, ERC churches made it so easy uh, on what to fill out, what to look at, you know. And for us, we could look at our payroll, we could look at our calendar of things that we had done. And so we were able to, you know, make adjustments, you know, according to that and, and fill out the, uh, uh, fill out the forms that needed to be filled out. Um, and we don't even use QuickBooks. If, if a church uses QuickBooks, it's even easier, less time. But I'll tell you what, 
four hours spent to get twenty one thousand dollars back. I mean, that's a, it's a no brainer for me, Bobby. It's right. No brainer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and uh, probably a good bit of your four hours was trying to gather up the just the documents and the information that you needed to be able to do it. The survey itself, the online survey that people find at ERCchurches.com. Uh, most people say that doesn't actually take but a little over an hour maybe to actually enter everything you have to have once you have your information to upload uh, yeah. and that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's that's great. And uh, I think you're, you're right. The, the return on that amount of time is pretty, pretty good. Now we've had ministry organizations. I'm a ministry liaison with ERC churches. And so uh, I, I work almost exclusively with churches, associations, uh, state conventions. We've got about four or five state conventions right now working and going through the process. Uh, conventions like the Northwest Baptist Convention, they received over $301,000 because uh, mm -hmm. they had obviously more employees than you have. Uh, depending on the number of employees that a church has, they don't have to have taken PPP. Uh, and we show them in our webinars exactly how to be able to, to quantify what they need to quantify to be able to qualify. Three ways to qualify, basically. One is through uh, income loss. Uh, if you have had a 50% income loss any of those quarters, that qualifies. Or a 10% impact of a supply chain issue, like if a church is working on a building or renovation or something. And then the third is where most churches qualify, and that is having to suspend or shut down any kind of uh, uh, activities, or they shift in their, what I would say, a normal mode of operation. If you had to shift from what you normally did uh, with personal visits or anything of that sort, you had to go back to phone calling or Zoom calls or something like that, that was an impact. You had to change what you were doing. Uh, thus, there was a, a COVID or pandemic impact uh, at that point. Let me ask you this, Jimmy, just kind of in wrapping up. Uh, if you were to be talking to a group of churches and you, you were talking to their pastors, leaders, church treasurers, uh, those that are related to the, the budget and finances in churches, uh, what would be your encouragement? What would be your word to them? Well, my word to them would, would be look into this. It doesn't cost a penny to find out if you qualify. In fact, it doesn't cost a penny to find out how much you may get back. Uh, the only cost really is uh, a percentage that goes to the people that are doing the work for us and we get the rest back. And I would just say just, you know, it's at first I thought, ah, oh, we're not going to get anything. It's not worth doing. I thought, no, wait a minute. It's worth checking it out. And I am so glad we did. So I would I would tell anyone. And basically, this is money you can put right back into kingdom work. Uh, this is money. Uh, maybe uh, some churches have needed to do some repairs and they just hadn't had the money for it. That, that could be the money that they've needed or a mission trip or something like, you know, something that I hadn't even mentioned, something that they could use. Uh, we're going to use some of this money to... Uh, for pastoral encouragement. We've been really focusing on trying to help our pastors to stay healthy and strong because healthy pastors make healthy churches. And so we're going to use some of that money for that and for church health, try to get our churches reoriented in this new post-COVID world and things like that. So that's what we're planning on doing with our money. Yeah, that's great. And we're hearing lots of uh, uh, great stories from churches that have already gone through the process of things they're going to be able to use to expand ministry. Uh, that's one key thing you mentioned it we didn't mention it earlier that the funds you get are unrestricted so it's a payroll uh refund to you uh and the assumption is if you kept your staff on you retained your staff during this pandemic period you've already used the money you know you found the money somewhere you took it from something else you did something to be able to keep that staff on so now you can take that money and apply it however you want to it's totally unrestricted let me uh, let me close with one other. I thought of one other question I'd like to ask. Uh, how helpful was the webinar that you guys set through uh, to kind of orient you to the ERC Churches program? Oh, it's great. In fact, uh, it answered really every question that I had. It was very well done, very short, uh, and that's really just pulled us over the line to go ahead and do that. So yeah, it was great.